it only takes one person to save the world. I have found that there are often pairs of things that just naturally go together. Examples of these might be ham and eggs or Athens, Georgia and red clay. However, there are two things that I never would have dreamed of putting together. These two things are helping the environment and having fun. I experienced both while volunteering my time with the University of Georgia Ecology Club, trying to help educate people on recycling. Just as one voice can change the world, so can one person change a particular situation. The particular situation that I am describing is the current poor status of recycling on the University of Georgia campus. The cause of this lack of recycling is a culture of ignorance, laziness, and indifference that has developed in the United States over the past few years. During the 2009 University of Georgia versus the University of South Carolina football game, there were 4.3 tons of garbage produced. Despite the large amount of trash, the campus was cleaned up by the end of the weekend, and to the university's credit, an effort is being made to recycle some of this garbage. However, more needs to be done. Even though this is not a critical situation, it is very important to fix this problem for the benefit of future students of the school and even future generations of this world. I was able to interpret the situation by asking the question, how can this situation at hand be improved? All it takes to energize a movement like this is one voice leading the way. If one person is able to show the purpose for recycling and improving the environment on campus or in the community, it might spread to a national level and maybe even the entire world. All this is possible, but it has to first start with one person. Even though I have only recently learned that one could have fun while recycling, this idea has consumed Darren Bill his entire life. His lifelong pursuit to help the environment led to the creation of the organization FreeCycle. Since its creation in 2003, FreeCycle has grown to over 2,600 local groups across the United States and over a million participants worldwide. Because this movement has grown so much lately due to the recent sponsorship by Waste Management Incorporated, Bill is now able to work full-time for the program and even draw a paycheck from the organization. The goal of the organization is for people to pass on items they no longer need to people who do need them. The main requirement to do this is that it has to be free of charge. It is this determination to help the community that has let this group grow so fast. Recycle is a perfect example of how one person can start something small in his or her community and how it can grow to a national and international level. Collaborative efforts most often start on a small scale, usually with one person or nation leading the way. These minuscule efforts have become an integral way of dealing with waste products in the past few years. It was not until about 20 years ago that Americans' views of trash changed swiftly and radically. After the United States began making trash and waste products a matter of federal regulation, many other countries followed suit. One example of a country that tried to alleviate the amount of waste and jumpstart the recycling process was South Africa. In 2003, South Africa started a movement to reduce the amount of trash along the roads. The government successfully created a bag tax, causing customers to be charged for each individual trash bag present at the time of checkout. Having this tax in place meant that customers would actually save money if they bought reusable trash bags. Before this tax was put into place, trash bags were dubbed the country's national flower because they were so abundant in the environment. This bag tax greatly reduced the number of trash bags present in the country. Collective recycling efforts in the United States would most likely produce a much better environment. There are many of these different collective efforts in which people can specifically help the environment of college campuses while having their free game celebrations. One simple thing people can regularly do is buy products that are biodegradable instead of products made of a petroleum base. Examples of these types of products are dishes, cups, and ice cream tubs that are made out of biodegradable plastic. Petroleum-based products release harmful chemicals when they begin to break down in landfills. Since the invention of plastic over 50 years ago, over 1 billion tons of plastic have been produced. Because plastic cannot be naturally broken down, over 1 billion tons of it are still in the environment today. The difference between biodegradable plastic and regular plastic is that biodegradable products are made out of organic materials. They are made out of natural material, hence they decompose in the environment. 
Another option for people to use is photodegradable plastics, which are special plastics that begin to break down when they come in contact with sunlight. If consumers just pay the few extra cents for these biodegradable products, millions of tons of plastic could be avoided each year. By taking on this responsibility, people might have to pay a small upfront cost, but in the long run, these products might have the biggest influence on the environment in the future. Although many products have been developed to help the environment, there are also many products that are more harmful than helpful. People need to be very careful before they buy a product that says it is green or natural, because many times this term is misleading. For example, the green fluorescent light bulbs are actually very harmful for the environment. They contain over 5 milligrams of mercury, a very harmful chemical that can be easily absorbed and can cause very serious neurological problems. Another product that is said to be helpful but is actually harmful is the green trash bag. These bags are still plastic and they will eventually take up space in landfills. People need to know these facts so that they can distinguish between what they should use and what is actually bad for the environment. Environmental concerns have produced extreme reaction over the past few years. Many people get overenthused about this topic and others do not have enough enthusiasm. Although many individuals take one of these stances, the world's environment and health could improve if they just slightly change their lifestyles. Examples of this include buying products that are naturally broken down or finding someone who needs a product that is going to be thrown away. If individuals would take simple steps, there would almost certainly be a healthier environment for future generations. These steps are simple, but there are some costs that cannot always be avoided. Although these biodegradable products are environmentally healthy, they are more expensive, but we should all avoid discarding things. Many times there are products that people do not need, and those items must be thrown away. The solution is to dispose of these products in the most environmentally acceptable method as possible. There are different ways that I could have viewed the campus, national, and world recycling problem. Instead of looking at how one person can change the world, I could have taken into account how corporations are trying to reduce things like pollution and landfill space. This is just one example of how I could have taken a different approach to the situation. Even though it was the problems at the University of Georgia that brought all this to my attention, I realized that places all around the world have problems with garbage just like the university does during every home football game. This awareness has already spread to residents of the community and the state. By asking how the situation can be improved, I discern that if this awareness continues to grow, might affect how other campuses across the nation deal with their recycling problems. One person cannot do it all, but any movement such as this does start with one person's enthusiastic efforts. As this person then bonds with other individuals with the same dedication, together they can save the world. Treat her like you want to be treated. Give her everything under the sun. You're on your way to a great day in love, love 101 Tell her that you don't want no other Show her that your wild days are gone You're on your way to honor